I think shoppy shop is an interesting term that when I first read the article, I was turned off by. Mm-hmm. And the more I've thought about it, I've I've embraced the term shoppy shop. I love shoppy shop. They serve a specific purpose within the industry. And we'll talk about that a little bit more too. But you know, artisanal market itself was a great name, but if people like shoppy shop, like let's, let's go with it. Yeah. The article continues. Uh, We need a new term for internet-based small businesses that still use global supply infrastructure. This is a quote from the author, Emily's friend, who is a culture writer. His name's Kyle Shaka. And it was his response to her telling him about this story. Yeah. I called out this sentence because when I read it the first time, I was like, what does this mean? Internet-based businesses that use global supply infrastructure. I mean, like food brands have websites and a social media presence because that's literally the way to reach people. Right. Mm -hmm. And he goes on to say that we know these minimalist ish generic aesthetics are not connected to any true local origin, but we see them as indicative of some kind of authenticity. My current thought is that they don't feel local to a place, but instead they feel local to the Internet. This is where things start to take a turn for me. Because first of all, the idea that Amsom and Diaspora, two of the brands named in the article, are not connected to any true local origin is problematic for me. They are connected to cultural origins that are underrepresented on traditional grocery store shelves. They are breaking cultural stereotypes and pulling back the curtain on spice farming and trade, right? And both of them are far from a minimalist-ish generic aesthetic, as it's called in the article, to me, right? They are bright. They are beautiful. Furthermore, if you look at the shelves of a shoppy shop, I happen to go to Wine and Eggs, which is a shop out here in Los Angeles in in a little city named Atwater Village. It's also named in the article. When I was there, I saw Malaysian red curry kitchens of Africa sauces, fly by Jing, seasonings and sauces and dumplings from Woon Kitchen, Dan Dan sauce, Gloria's Ghanaian chili oil, right? And that's just a portion of the brands in a small section of the shelves of that store. These products are vibrant and they certainly represent people and place. So I really had issue with this idea that they were presenting in the article. Yeah. 